In this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, chord symbol repeats, like these symbols here. Uh, this is Finale 2012. I'm illustrating this on a Mac. Let me preface this by saying that uh, there are those who would argue that these symbols aren't necessary at all in a lead sheet. If a chord repeats, it's understood that uh, it just carries over. Uh, through the measures until there's a, a change in the chord, hence the, the name chord changes, right? Uh, but some people like to use them, so I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to start by reverting this. So we've got a fresh, we've got a fresh melody, and this is my lead sheet. I'm going to add a couple chord symbols. We'll start with a D, and that goes for two, and then we're going to go up to G here. Now, I want to have uh, one of those repeat symbols on this measure. So what I do is I, I'm going to add it just like it was any other chord symbol. Um, now, I know offhand that the uh, shortcut for doing this is option right bracket and it gives me this uh, this symbol here. Just add that as a chord symbol. I can't find it. Ask if I want to add it to the library. Yes, I do. So now we have this funny symbol here. But if it was in the right font, it would be the right character. So if I click Set Font and I choose instead Maestro or another music notation font, and let's bump up the size a little bit, say uh, 16 points. There's the symbol. Okay. And then now I'll add it here. Option right bracket, enter, and there it is. It's entered. If I like, I can center it in the measure. Like this, holding shift so uh, I can strain it horizontally. And there you have it. Now, if I want to edit this, I can go to Edit Chord Definition, um, suffix, edit. All right, so now I'm back here in the definition box. Now let's say that I didn't remember um, that funny shortcut. There are, there are a couple ways to arrive at the symbol. If you don't know that, if you can't remember, uh, option right bracket is the shortcut for that. You could click on the symbol button here and it shows you a complete character set for the Maestro font or whatever font you've got selected. So you can scroll through here and find out what it is. It's a little laborious, but you'll get to the same place. Another place for you to check for symbols. So if you're on a Windows machine, because I, I don't have access to one right now, um, but if uh, if you want to find any, uh, any uh, character, complete character map, um, so within Finale, go to Help, Character Sets, And then this gives you a list of the fonts you've got installed. And so Maestro, for example, click that. Now this gives you um, a nicely organized list of all the symbols in, in um, that typeface. And if you, if you click one of these categories, it will just scroll down to the right place. And it will show you the keystrokes for your operating system um, for how you get there. So here it says, so I could scan this page for this symbol and then I could look at what the keystroke is. In this case it's option right bracket, right, to get that symbol. And so once I know that, when I'm defining new chord symbols, um, I can just enter it just like I'd, I'd enter any chord symbol and go through that process again. I hope you found that helpful.